guys, Mr. Bowman here. We're looking at the 2016 2.2 probability methods exam, and we're going to focus only on the achieved questions. And from the website, this starts at question number eight, so we're going to get into it right now. So the trees from Brookhaven Apple Orchard, so we're dealing with apples, are harvested twice a year. So that twice a year is the reason why I think it's a probability tree question, because there's two events, the first harvest and the second harvest. But let's read on. As the apples ripen at different times, so hence the two um, harvests. Records from the previous have shown that the first harvest, 70% of the apples are picked, and those that aren't picked may be picked at the second harvest, but only 35% of them are picked. All the apples picked could go to the packing shed. 9% of them might be sent for export. Some of them might go to the local market and the rest are sent to the factory. So a whole bunch of different options. We've been asked, what is the probability that an apple will not be picked? So the good thing about this question is that bottom information about where the apple goes after it's picked is not relevant because we're only interested in if it is not picked. Um, so during our probability tree, we're going to split it off. And this first event is going to be the first harvest. And at that harvest, you could be picked. So that's P. And P dash, don't forget, that little dash means not. So not picked. And we've been told 70% of them will be picked. So that there will be 0 0.7. That means the remaining ones, 0 0.3, are not picked. At the second harvest, 35. So after this... So, one, you know, this branch up here, once they're already picked, they're not going to be picked again in the second harvest, so we don't actually need that branch. So this here relates to the second harvest, which is the second event. Again, the apples that weren't picked the first time could be picked, or they could be not picked. We've been told 0.35% of them are going to be picked, and the remaining 0.65 will not be picked. Our question asks about apples not being picked, and that would relate to this branch here because we've got not picked and not picked. So, getting into our working, the probability of not picked will be equal to the multiplication of those two branches 0 0.3 times 0 0.65. 0 0.3 times 0 0.65. We plug that into our calculator. And we're going to get 0 0.195. Okay, we are now looking at question number nine. So question number nine. And we've got a whole bunch of information about more apple types. So there's two types of apple, jazz apples and beauty apples. There are twice as many jazz apples than beauty apples. This tells us what proportion is picked or not picked. And this tells us where those apples go. Do they go to export? Do they stay local? Do they go to a factory? We've been asked, what is the probability that a randomly selected apple from the total crop will be of a jazz type and be sent to a factory? So you probably could use a probability tree in this question, but I'm just going to do it a different way to think you out. So the hint I've given us is the multiplication one. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to find the probability that an apple is a jazz apple, and it ends up in the factory. So when you've got a combination of events, like we do in our trees, we multiply across each of the events. So we go event one times event two times event three and so on. So in this case here, I want us to think about, well, what events have to happen for this jazz apple to go to a factory? So firstly, it has to be a jazz apple. So we need to find, well, what's the probability of the apple being jazz? So don't forget, it could be that beauty apple. If it's a jazz apple, we then have to figure out, well, for it to end up in the factory, it has to be picked. If it's not picked, it ain't going there. So the probability of it being a jazz apple and it being picked. And then finally, I've got the close bracket. Finally, once it's picked, it has to be a jazz and goes to the factory. So there's three different things we're looking out for. So the first thing is, what's the probability of it being a jazz? And that was from that little statement up there. A lot of people miss this in the exam. So there are twice as many jazz apples as beauty apples. 
That means if there's two jazz apples, there'll be one beauty apple. That means two out of three apples will be that jazz type. So the probability is going to be two out of three. That has to be multiplied by the jazz ones being picked. That's that 0 0.85 up the top there, 0 0.85. And that has to be multiplied by the jazz apples going to the factory, which is 0 0.3. When you plug all that into your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.17 as your answer of a jazz apple being picked and going to the factory. So we're now looking at question number 10, and the hint for this one's pretty obvious, two-way tables, and the giveaway was the two-way table. So we're now looking at another orchard. Um, apples from a larger block are grown via conventional methods while the other block is grown organically. So that explains the top part of our axis, conventional growth or organic. Of a random sample of 1,200 apples, um, they were tested for disease. And that explains the next one. The apples either were diseased or were not diseased. We're trying to find for question I, what is the probability that a random apple was diseased? So probability that the apple was diseased. Two-way tables, I always encourage us to think about F over T. Um, total, how many apples are there in total? That's the 1,200 down there. So 1,200 apples in total. Of those 1,200, how many were diseased? That is 180. And put that into calculator, you're going to get 0 0.15. So about 15% of the apples were diseased. We're now going to move on to II. What is the pro or what proportion of diseased apples were grown conventionally? So this time around, we only care about those diseased apples. So we're trying to find the probability of con. So I'm going to write con for conventional, given they were diseased. And I'll just write dis for diseased. So we're going to write F over T. So we only care about the diseased apples. So that's going to be the grand total. How many diseased apples did we have? 180. And of those 180 apples, how many of them were conventionally grown? That's the 122 up there, 122. You plug that into your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.6778, and that there had a 4DP rounding. So I love these two-way table questions, a really easy way to get some really quick and cheap achieve marks in your exam. Okay, we're now up to question number 11, and this is the final question, or final achieved question that came from the 2016 exam. So, um, carrying on with the apple theme, apples are sent to the factory to be made into sauce. Um, they are then bottled. Tests are shown that the bottling, when the bottling machine works or is operating correctly, the source weight can be normally distributed. That's the giveaway that it, you're looking at a normal distribution question. We've got a mean of 310 and a standard deviation of 4.5. First question, find the probability that a randomly selected bottle will contain between 310 and 316 grams of source. Um, so looking at I, let's draw our normal distribution curve. We had a mean of 310 given to us in the question with a standard deviation of 4.5. We're curious about 310 to 316. So that shaded part there, a bit between there, that's the portion, that's the area we're interested in. We now jump into our calculator. We need those four inputs. So the first input you need to think about is what's my lowest part of that shaded area? That's going to be 310. What's the upper part going to be? That there is going to be 316. What's the standard deviation? That's easy, 4.5. And the mean, also easy, 310. When you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get a probability of 0 0.4088. And I rounded that to 4dp, as I always do. So that's the first one. Question II is what we're going to look at next. The label on the bottle says it weighs 300 grams. The bottles that contain less than 300 grams are considered to be underweight. What percentage, a big, big thing they've asked you about the percentage, would be underweight. And underweight, they've already linked, that's going to be the 300 grams from before. So, as always, let's draw our normal distribution curve. The mean is unchanged at 300, and the standard deviation also unchanged at 4.5. 
The figure we're aiming for now is 300. And underweight would be anything less than that. So we're trying to figure out that shaded portion. We're dealing with a tail, which means we're going to be dealing with the nines, four nines. This time around, it will be negative nine, 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 nine. So that's our graph. We then jump into our calculator. Think about the inputs we're going to need. Our lower is going to be the negative nines. Our upper will be 300. Our standard deviation, 4.5. And finally, our mean, 310 grams. We plug all of that into our calculator, and that's going to tell us probability of 0 0.0131, again, for DP rounding. And caution, a lot of people stop there for this question, but just a reminder, you've been asked about the percentage. So let's quickly change that to a percentage. So the probability, also 1.31%, and I did by timesing the previous decimal by 100. So that wraps up the Achieve questions from the 2016 exam. Hopefully you found them useful. Thanks so much for watching.